Mr. Lemons. So did you finally realize that I'm not the one you're looking for after all? You wish. What do you want then? Where do you live, Mr. Lemons? You know damn well where I live. For the record, where are you living? I am lodged in the county jail at this time. Satisfied? Good morning, Miss Tucker. Good morning. We were expecting Mr. Haight. He was called out of town, but he fully briefed me before he left. So please carry on as you would if he were here. Mr. Lemons, we need to talk about why you're here. Is this a game? You lock me up because you think I killed Veronica Smith. That's why I'm here. We know you murdered Dr. Smith. You're not helping yourself by denying it. Read my lips. I did nothing to that woman. Everyone knows she killed herself. Actually, she didn't kill herself. We know she was murdered. I don't believe you. Let's talk about those text messages that Dr. Smith was getting. I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Lemons, I'm telling you right now, we know what you did. If you keep lying, you're just digging a deeper hole for yourself. I'm not lying. Detectives, these personal attacks are not productive. Do you have any actual questions? Quite a few. Why were you sending harassing text messages to Dr. Smith? I wasn't. Do you recognize this? No. Think again. We found that in your house, and we know this is the phone that was sending Dr. Smith those harassing text messages. I've never seen that before. You're... You planted that. Your fingerprints are on it. Are you planning to pursue stalking charges against my client? Because otherwise, I don't see how this is relevant. Why did you call Ruthie Foreman with that phone? I didn't. We have the call records. We know you called her. There's no way you could know that. Oh, really? How's that? Because you couldn't. I shouldn't have to explain your job to you. Maybe I should sue you for malpractice, too. Good luck with that. Mr. Lemons, what is ketamine? What? I don't know. Yes, you do. Was it your idea to use it, or did Ruthie come up with that? I don't know what you're talking about. Did Ruthie Foreman supply you with ketamine? Did she give you a little vial of it to use on Dr. Smith? That's crazy. You're crazy. Well, then, why did we find this in your house? That's not mine. Where did you find that? Someone's framing me. Is that really going to be your answer for everything, that someone is framing you? Because it's just not believable. Are you calling me a liar? Well, yeah. So you're saying that I'm a liar in all of this. What about my Ed, own? let's just hear what the detectives have to say. And then maybe we will be able to help them see how their investigation got off track. We found these bags in your house. What do you use them for? Are you serious? I fry them up with some country ham and have them for breakfast. Well, you must not have done a very good job because the guys in the lab compared the bags in this box with the bag we found on the victim's head, and they're consistent. So what? Am I the only person in this town that has trash bags? No, no bits I, Exactly. See? I, I don't know why you got it in Ken? Don't interrupt. Let the man talk. Just listen. I'm supposed to just sit here and let them... Yes. Shh. Please continue, detective. Sounds like your attorney's starting to get the picture. Hmm. Are you Ken? Did you have something else you wanted to ask about these ubiquitous garbage bags, or are we done here? Ubiquitous? Oh, nice. But the thing is, these bags aren't quite so ubiquitous. The folks in the lab compared the perforations found on the roll in this box with the bag we found on the victim's head. They're consistent. Now, what do you suppose that means? We are not going to play any guessing games. Why don't you just tell us what it means? It means the bag we found in his house matched the bag we found on the victim's head. Victim. Ken. You know, that sounds interesting, but of course we cannot comment on that. Until we have had these findings examined by an independent expert. Of course. 
Well, Ken, you recognize this, don't you? You have the suicide note from Dr. Smith? What, what are we even doing here? Well, there are actually some really strange things about this particular suicide note. For one thing, there are no fingerprints on it anywhere. Not one. Maybe she wiped them off. Why would she do that? Well, how would I know? Oh, maybe so this exact thing would happen. She could take the cowards away out and someone else would get the blame. Again? That sounds like something she'd do. Why would she print this note at Billy's auto service? She wouldn't. She didn't. You're right. Well, I don't think she did print it at your brother-in-law's place. But someone did. But we it, was, that. it wasn't me. Well, okay, maybe it was Billy. He certainly had reason to want her dead, didn't he? And uh, he obviously had access to the computer. So did you see him writing it or printing it when you were there? No, never. Well, so he must have done it when you weren't around. No, I'm telling you he didn't. He hates that computer. Really? If you have evidence against this Billy, I would suggest that you arrest him and release my client. Well, we could do that, but more likely we're going to charge both of them. No. Billy is a good man. You leave him out of this. So you are the one that printed this note over there at the shop. Or is that what you're saying? We're not saying anything like that. I don't feel well. My back is killing me. Let's wrap this up. You take medication for your back, Kim? Yes, but I don't have any of it. You people took it away from me when you arrested me. Well, that happens. What you take? Vicodin. I have a prescription for it. I'm not doing anything wrong. Do you like Altoids? What? Uh, I guess. You know me, I, I kind of like the little ones. The, the big ones are just a little too spicy for me. Which ones do you like? I don't understand. Why are you asking me? Do that? you have a point, Detective? I bet you like the little ones. Peppermint, am I right? Yeah, so what? Uh, I think you carry them around with you. Maybe toss in a few Vicodin in case you run out. Am I right? How did you know? I will ask again. Do you have a point, detective? This is how. Where did you get that? You know exactly where. Altoids are ubiquitous. Oh, like the garbage bags. Yes. That could belong to anyone. It could, but it doesn't. It belongs to him. And he left it behind in Veronica Smith's closet on the night that he murdered her. No, I didn't. You took that from me when you arrested me. Oh, no, no, no. The Altoids that we took from you were in this bag with all the other stuff when you were arrested. Well, then it's not mine. It has your fingerprints on it. Detectives, I need to speak with my client. Can we pick this up later? Like tomorrow, maybe. Tomorrow? <clears throat> don't say anything else. Just I, wait. But I don't want to spend another night And don't say another word until I tell you to. Detectives, I think we're done for today. Uh, do you need to take him back to jail, or is there a room here somewhere where I could speak with my client privately? You can use this room, and then we'll transport him back to the jail when you're done. Camera and microphones on. Of course.